Welcome back to the channel, guys. It's Maz back again with another video for you guys. Today, we have the FCX24 back on the bench. Wanted to go ahead and jump ahead and save y'all the monotony of watching another motor install on a FCX24, but I would also like to show you how not to do it. Well, old Maz, you know, he's impatient. We don't have time to order pinions and stuff when we're trying to do stuff. I already had this motor here, courtesy of uh, Mofo. He sent it over to me with a batch of parts a while back. So I didn't want to wait on pinions to be able to put that motor in because the pinion that comes with it is not compatible with the FCX24. So I went ahead and got that pinion off of there. I didn't have a pinion puller. I took my time, I ground it down until I could break the end of it out and got that pinion off, but it is now scrap metal. So also I'll show you how not to get your pinion off of your FCX 24 motor. I ain't had time for that. Not in a six inch, Cutoff wheel couldn't take care of. We sliced her off, and then I just took my pinion and punched the rest of the uh, shaft out of there. That's what she said. And after doing that, I was able to use that pinion and put it back in place of the ground off pinion on the big block. Uh, you take your time, you can overcome anything. Uh, it's not the proper way to do it. I'm telling y'all straight up, don't do it this way. Uh, bad things can happen, but I'm impatient and I want a little bit more power out of this old FCH 24. So luckily on mine, uh, the cutout for the transmission case was already there and I was able just to pull my motor out. I didn't have to cut it out and I was able to slide it right back in. It's very simple. I, I recommend taking the drive, front drive shaft off of the axle though, because when you go putting it back together, it's a pain in the butt. Um, definitely always uh, re-clock your, your drive shafts when you put them back together. And as you can see, I like to keep the screws in line. So I keep that screw and the screw up front in line same way on the front one so make sure you do those small things to uh you know keep them in line they also have u-joints in them so they need to be able to work together not against each other but this is a very nice upgrade it's plug and play you do need to swap the wires around in the plug um, so it's as simple as how I've shown y'all. If you haven't seen it, go back to my earlier videos on doing the expandable mesh. It's as simple as pulling these two connectors out of this white plug and swapping the wires. Um, that way you can reverse the motor because when you put this in the way that it's wired, when you pull the trigger, it goes backwards. You push the trigger, it goes forward. Um, not a very good setup. I do like this motor. I feel like this is the perfect medium. It gives you enough power, you know, to do some burnouts and some donuts and all that cool stuff, but it's not so fast that it's uncontrollable. Um, it's pretty cool when you launch it from a dead stop, it kind of just kicks sideways and then takes off straight. Uh, it really hooks up. Um, it's a big increase from my poor old castrated, uh, power dash 130 but you think hey how much difference can there be this is a good amount of difference plus it's still small it's still slow cross sorry i was gonna say small cross it's still slow cross uh very well and you know it's like i said i just wanted something that was a good medium i know there's other people out there that have already went over this that's why i didn't feel like i needed to do an in-depth on it but it checked all the boxes for me. So 
If you're looking for a motor that's not like the FCX or the FMS speed motor, which is like overkill for, I feel like a truck with this small a wheel and tire on it. I feel like the monster trucks, you can get away with it. But on this, I probably wouldn't put uh, the speed motor on it. I like the slow crawl ability. And like I said, the big block gives you just enough uh, more top speed, but also continues to allow you to do that good slow crawl. So if you're in the market for a motor, head over to uh, MoFo RC, pick you up a big block. If you, like I said, if you have a later FCX, you won't have to cut this black transmission housing to get it, the original motor out. Mine luckily had the, it, it's weird. They didn't even just put a circle there. They made it, it's the same pattern as the pinion. So you, it's literally like pulling it out of a star, pulling a star through a star, it's weird. But they could have just cut a circle, but instead they cut the gears all the way around. So um, pretty cool. I definitely dig it. It's got, like I said, tons of power, good amount of top end. Still has that slow crawl ability. I don't think you can find a better motor right this minute. We may try some different stuff just to see. Um, but like I said, for a quick swap, don't do it like I did it. Trying to tell y'all that. Man, I cut that thing smooth off. Same thing. But at the end of the day, all that matters, we got the job done. I want to keep these videos short and sweet, so like always, comment down below. Tell me I'm a big dumb redneck for cutting my motor in half. Um, you know, even though I think that's like a six dollar motor or ten dollar motor or something like that. Either way, call me a big dumb redneck. Tell me a joke. Like and subscribe to the channel. And until next time, guys, y'all have a good one.